Carly Russell's disappearance in Alabama lit up social media with droves of people sharing her story, all to find out that it was a hoax. Last week, Russell was arrested and formally charged with filing a false police report and filing a false statement, both misdemeanors, and she's out on a $2,000 bond. But for some in the community, the charges she's facing are too light compared to the damage she's done. The shocking disappearance of Carly Russell, a young black woman reportedly abducted while trying to be a hero, caught the nation's attention, including Natalie Wilson's. When we woke up on Friday morning, we had so many alerts from social media. Hundreds had come to support the Russell family. Natalie immediately noticed the disturbing headlines because she's the co-founder of the Black and Missing Foundation. They have found answers and often closure for more than 400 families who have reported missing loved ones. Time was of the essence. She could have been anywhere. Families with missing children of their own were lined up to help. We did reach out to her family. We did not um, get a response, however, we have a family whose loved one is missing in Alabama, and they were on standby. You know, our volunteers were ready to assist with the search and assist the families. Questions this morning about what happened to an Alabama woman who was missing for two days and is now reunited with her family. The good news of Carly's safe return on July 15th touched Tony Jacobs' heart. When I found out she was fine, my feelings went towards the parents. Like, I know what that felt like. The heartache of Carly's mom and dad weighed heavily on her because Tony's only daughter, Keisha, has been missing for almost seven years. I was glad that their baby was home, and I was like, ooh, you know, and the, that's the back of my mind. And then I'm like, one day that's going to be me. When we heard that she arrived home safely, we were breathing a sigh of relief, but then we wanted to know, well, what happened? But that relief soon came crashing down when Carly's safe return turned to scandal. Alabama police revealing the 25-year-old's bizarre kidnapping story was nothing but a big, fat lie. Turns out her lawyer says she was never kidnapped. The facts, I think, last uh, Wednesday uh, pretty much showed that uh, we knew that it was, uh, it was a hoax. Before this shocking hoax was found out, Carly's disappearance had bubbled into an uncommon moment of national concern that the black community rarely sees. Carly was our first case to go viral and to get that coveted around the clock media coverage. Carly was the lead story on network morning shows and TV stations across the country. Hashtag Carly Russell, a top trending topic for two weeks. Authorities now say the story was false. But Wilson says Carly's dishonesty has complicated the countless missing persons cases they work on every single day. There are thousands of other people of color that are reported missing and they're not getting the media coverage of law enforcement resources, and we cannot turn a blind eye to them because of this one incident. This is the last known place that my daughter was seen. I believe my daughter's out there somewhere. Knowing the first hours of a disappearance are crucial, Quiche's loved ones are convinced her case could have benefited early on from national public interest when she vanished in 2016. According to the FBI, last year there were nearly 240,000 people of color missing in the U.S. We believe that number is much higher for two reasons. One, Hispanics are classified as white when they are reported missing. And we do know that many Latinos um, classify as Afro-Latinos. And then two, there's a sense of distrust with the minority community and law enforcement. So there are families that are not reporting their loved ones missing. Last year alone, there were more than 97,000 um, black women reported missing. The numbers are staggering. 40% of the missing population are people of color, yet they're not making the headlines. They're not getting the media coverage. My family and friends were calling me. People spent all this time sharing this girl's picture and Quiche is really missing. And this Carly may 
people question, hold on, is this stuff really, is everybody really faking? And I was like, no, my daughter's really missing. She is missing. I am hurting. I don't know where my child is. So Keisha's case, um, you know, it's disheartening. She did something that we did as young adults, I left home to go to visit a friend. And sadly, she never came home. The Jacobs family will celebrate Quiche's 28th birthday on August 6th. Tony still remembers their last conversation that September evening as her baby girl was heading out the door. Last time I saw Quiche, she was a little upset because I guess her and her boyfriend had broke up. And I was like, girl, don't get upset about no man. They come a dime a dozen. She was like, okay, Ma, I love you. I said, I love you too. She was like, I'll see you tomorrow. Over the last month, there's been a sign of needed progress. Local news media have expressed more interest in current black missing cases. We have now, because of this incident, have been able to get additional eyes or amplify the work that we do and some of these cases, like Keisha and you know Tiffany Foster, Alexis Ware. I think we've done a good job in showing that there are other people that are missing and need our attention. As for this young nursing student facing jail time and smiling in her mugshot, Natalie's not convinced Carly knows the severity of the pain she's caused. I don't know if Carly Russell really understands the impact of what she did. We read the comments and people are saying, this is why I don't share missing persons cases because it's not true. Well, it is true for thousands of families whose loved ones have disappeared. And we do everything that we can to get media coverage around Quiche's disappearance because we just need one person to come forward to help find and bring her home. And advocates like Tony just hope that Carly Russell's lies don't set their mission back and prevent even more young black women like Quiche from making it home. Somebody seen something. Somebody heard something, somebody knows something. And I just pray one day that, you know, in their conscience or their deepest of hearts, they'll they feel it and want to help.